with redemption right around the corner this Sunday we welcome you one more time to NXT we are live from Providence Rhode Island ladies and gentlemen and man oh man what a show do we have lined up for you without any time wasted let's get straight into the action as the self-proclaimed greatest man that ever lived the number one contender for the NXT championship is set to kick us off on this evening's episode of NXT. I just only hope all of you guys have enjoyed your day, enjoy your evening, enjoy your night, nice sit back and watch some NXT. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Paul Heyman from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 202 pounds, Austin Eric. Austin Aries certainly playing some mind games with the NXT Championship here the last couple of weeks, really, and uh, really it goes all the way back to since Austin Aries debuted, all the way back to when he first started with Cesaro. He plays mind games, he gets into your head, and that's what he's been trying to do with the NXT Champion these last few weeks leading up to Redemption. He is trying to get into the mind of Aleister Black, and I don't know if it's going to be uh, the smartest way to do that. But Austin Aries, he is a thinking man's wrestler. But nevertheless, we have a new competitor and debuting here on NXT. From Queens, New York, weighing in at 223 pounds, Kurt Hawkins. I see JoJo just loves to interrupt me. Nothing new. Great job, JoJo. Nonetheless, as I was saying, ladies and gentlemen, Kurt Hawkins making his debut here tonight on NXT. And we certainly want to see what this young man has to offer, what he brings to the table. Can he one-up? Can he defeat the number one contender for the NXT championship here tonight? We are about to find out, ladies and gentlemen. If you have not already, be sure to hit that like button. Click and join the angelic army. We are certainly growing here on YouTube. We have many, many subs. And if you are one of the new subscribers that have joined us lately, then leave a comment down below. Let us know why you subscribe. Let us know what you would like to see here on the channel in the near future. As we get our first contest underway this evening, Austin Aries loves an averted atomic drop right there to Kurt Hawkins and a kick to the midsection. Austin Aries now. Punch right to the face. Kurt Hawkins counters. Kick right there to the midsection. And Kurt Hawkins out of nowhere with the spear. Quickly into the cover. First one of the matchup. Only get to one count though. Hawkins now returns the favor with that kick to the midsection of a double. And a chop for good measure. A couple of punches. Takes down Austin Aries. Snap there. Kurt Hawkins. The match is only a, about a minute or so old. But Hawkins has been... Relatively impressive, and just as I say that, Austin Aries takes down the young man from Queens, New York. Look at this knee right there to the neck. Austin added insult to injury to this young man, kick to the back. Austin now reversing of the Irish whip. Kurt Hawkins going to send Austin Aries to the corner. Form right there to the lower back. Austin counters. Backbreaker, no. Hawkins flips out of it and delivers a clothesline that takes down a double. Hawkins now going to look to slow the pace of this matchup down. Going to look to wear on Austin's stamina. Going to look to really try to draw this matchup. Austin is a high flyer, so if you manage to ground him, then he can't implement that high flying strategy, that high flying style that he has come to add to his arsenal over these last two years as Austin delivers a stomp right there to the arm. Hawkins now back on his feet, delivering a couple of shots of his own. He's got him in the front face lock. Austin counters. Hawkins now quickly though. Irish whip and takes him down with a one-man flat jack. <clears throat> Excuse me. Starting to lose my voice. It's already just the beginning of the show. 
Hawkins now going to look to work over the knee of Austin Aries. Quickly going for the pinfall. Only gets a one count, though, once again. And Hawkins now, he's relatively impressive. I have to say that I am thoroughly impressed with Kurt Hawkins here tonight on NXT, making his debut. And he would, he would really have to consider an upset if he were to defeat Austin Aries. Austin being the number one contender. And you would think if Hawkins would defeat him, then Hawkins would relatively, as quickly as he got here, would throw his name into the conversation for the NXT Championship. Hawkins now on the offense. Austin counters, just as I say that, curse of the commentator. Austin has him now. Irish whip. Oh, Austin and a oh, rolling elbow takes down Kurt Hawkins. Austin going to taunt away at Kurt Hawkins. He's setting up. You know what he wants. He's got him in the front face slot. Takes him up and down with the brain buster. You can count to a thousand. It is over. Thanks for coming, Kurt Hawkins. Well, you were impressive, Mr. Hawkins. But it didn't live up to that A-11. Austin Aries picks up a win here tonight on NXT, a much needed win going into redemption this Sunday. Hawkins show, this, this may be his debut, but he's gonna be around for a while. And I do I do command Kurt Hawkins. He showed he showed up with his A game and came relatively close to defeating Austin Aries, but nonetheless it was not his night here tonight. I see a bright future for this young man though and it was right there, the brain buster. The patented move, the finishing maneuver of a double that put away Kurt Hawkins. Here is your winner, Austin Aries. Austin Aries is victorious here tonight, leading into redemption. As I said, ladies and gentlemen, Austin Aries picking up a much needed win going into redemption. And his adversary, Alistair Black, is going to be in action in our main event, and he will be taking on none other than the top 1% of NXT, the man who's looking to turn NXT into NX3, EC3. Well, Austin Aries got his win here tonight. Will Alistair Black be able to get his win? We are going to find out in the main event here tonight on NXT. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want to send a special shout out to Insane Driver for their song. Today is Sunday. It's off their 2016 debut album, Insane Driver, and it's available right now on iTunes and Spotify. Information in the description box down below. Ladies and gentlemen, back here in the NXT arena. Roderick Strong and Adam Cole backstage in the catering area. I've been wondering that myself. Why has Roderick Strong brought the Ring of Honor World Championship here to NXT? A real world champion? Oh, I don't know about that. And Adam Cole is never short on confidence, that's for sure. Mid-card title for a mid-card performer. Well, that is highly, highly debatable. I don't know about that one. Tensions are rising between these two. Adam Cole saying Roderick Strong going to get a proper welcome to NXT, courtesy of the Panama City Playboy. I certainly hope General Manager Triple H books that match. That is something that I definitely want to see. If you want to see that match up, leave a comment down below. Let us know you want to see the Panama City Playboy Adam Cole 
taking on Mr. Ring of Honor out of Water Strong. To the ring at a combined weight of 650 pounds, Otis Dozovic and Tucker Knight. Heavy machinery. Hey, Joe, Joe, let me tell you something. <laughs> we're going we to have to have a conversation about, about this. Uh, I just cutting me off, and I don't, I don't know about that. Well, nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, tag team championship tournament continues on here tonight in Providence, Rhode Island. Heavy Machinery looking to take out their adversary. Oh my lord! <laughs> I've said it before, and I will say it again. Happily, it would not be NXT if I was not messing up in some form on commentary. Heavy Machinery looking to take out their opposition, TM61, also known as the Mighty. The Australian duo looking to pick up a win and advance in the Tag Team Championship Tournament. And their opponent, at a combined weight of 450 pounds, Nick Miller and Shane Thorne, TM61. TM61, a global, globally traveled, to travel, what am I saying? A globally traveled, easy for me to say, right? Globally traveled tag team, well known throughout the wrestling world. Holding championships in Australia, Japan. Looking to hold their first bit of gold here in NXT. Heavy machinery. Looking like a whale oil machine right there. I'm sorry, I won't do that again. Nevertheless, here we go. Otis Dozovic straight out of the gate. Belly to belly suplex taking Nick Miller off his feet. Otis Dozovic. That's a big boy right there. Stakes and weights, baby. That's what they say. Stakes and weights. These two guys live in the gym. I walked past earlier. Otis Dozovic, man, that's... Let me tell you, this man was deadlifting almost 600 pounds. I look and my jaw absolutely dropped to the floor. And more power to you guys. You got it. That's all the dose of it now gets taken off his feet. Dick Miller showing he's got some strength of his own. Irish whip now we're going to send all this into his corner and all this counters. And now it's Otis going to send Nick Miller into his corner. Otis now going to tag in Tucker Knight. Irish Rip going to send Nick Miller into the ropes. Double hip toss takes down one half of TM61. Tucker Knight now on the offense, stomping away at Nick Miller. An uppercut there from Miller. Gets back to his feet relatively quickly. Irish Rip going to send. Tucker Knight into his corner and tag. In comes Shane Thorne. Double elbow. And trademark. TM61. The fist drop and the moonsault combination. And Shane Thorne looks to work over the arm. One half of heavy machinery and Tucker Knight. Knight now. Oh, big splash takes down Shane Thorne in his corner. Thorne now once again. No, nobody home this time for Tucker Knight. Knight now going to once again splash in the corner. Tucker Knight, the big man looking to rally the NXT faithful here in Providence behind him. And he's got him up. Look at the strength just holding him. Unfinigated power. That is what heavy machinery is all about. And Shane Thorne going to roll to the outside. He needs a breather. Comes back in relatively quickly, though. Roundhouse kick right there to the side of the head. And Nick Miller looked like he wanted to get a cheap shot in. Shane Thorne now going to drag Tucker Knight over to his corner. Looking for DDT. No. Shane Thorne counters. And a clothesline takes Tucker Knight over the top rope to the outside. 
Shane throwing right on the offense. Right out after Tucker Knight. Oh my goodness. Right on the thin layer of padding out there. That offers little to no protection. That is concrete under those paddings. Tucker Knight though, big man back to his feet. And just as I say that, Shane Thorne takes over Tucker Knight with a falcon arrow. Shane Thorne now I'm gonna look to work over the knees and the leg of Tucker Knight. And a running clothesline takes down the big man of, well, hell, they're both big men. What am I saying? <laughs> Tucker Knight back to his feet and, oh my goodness, that's got to be damn near 300 pounds that just stepped on the chest of Shane Thorne. Irish Whitten now going to send one half of the Australian duo into the corner. And a splash. Look. And oh my goodness. Tucker Knight showing he's got some athleticism as well as strength. Knight now going to send Thorne once again into the corner. Splashes galore here tonight on NXT TV. Tucker now has him. In his corner, Irish Whip. This time it's Thorne going to send. I can't, what am I saying? Thorne going to send. Why, why can't I talk? <laughs> this, this, this is like a, almost an everyday occurrence. Let's look at this. Tag team maneuver by TM61. Power bomb assisted superplex. But Tucker Knight manages to tag in. Otis Dozovic and the big man showing he's got some agility. And Shane Thorne. Nick Miller, what am I doing? Hey, look. <laughs> Bot style is strong here tonight on NXT. Nick Miller now going to stomp away at Otis and delivers a fist drop right there to the head of Otis Dozovic. Looking for another punch. And oh, Otis delivers a slap and an STO takes down Nick Miller. Otis now, Irish Whip, man, it's been Irish Whip galore and nothing but splashes in this matchup. Otis now, what's the big man looking for? Choo choo and oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> you don't want to be on the tracks when that train is coming through. And Otis has got him now. He's got him up. Look at this. Shades of the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. And they ain't far behind. And oh, oh goodness gracious. The referee is down again. <laughs> The referee is down again. Otis though, right back on the offense, gonna look to work over the arm. And now the head of Nick Miller with that knee right there to the side of the head. Otis gonna drag him to the middle of the ring and he'll go right back to working on the leg. And a headbutt this time from the big man, Otis throws it. Couple of punches, goodness gracious. I think that just ticked off Otis just a little bit. And now Otis looking for a suplex. No. Nick Miller counters. Knee right to the face. Nick now gonna drag Otis to his corner. No. Kinda in his corner. Snap there takes Otis down. And a kick right to the back and delivers another fist drop right there to Otis. And quickly goes for the cover. Only gets a one count though. Nick now tag. In comes Shane Thorne. And Otis immediately grabs a hold of him. And this time it's Otis taking him down with a snapmare takedown and a kick to the spine. And look at this punches and then just slams his face right into the canvas. Otis has him now front face lock. Shot right to the back, and they're gonna drag him over to the corner, face first off the top turn buckle. Shane throwing though counters, and now right back in the TM61 corner. Shane Thorne looks like he's measuring. Otis, what's he looking for? Spins him around in a clothesline right to the back of the neck. 
Shane Thorne now shoots the half quickly into the cover and TM61 advances. No, they do not. Not right now. And oh, Shane Thorne did not like that. A chop block takes out the leg of Tucker Knight. Shane Thorne now, oh, went to the well one too many times. Looked like he was looking for that leg drop in the corner. Looking for another belly-to-belly -belly suplex. No, Shane Thorne counters. Thorne now, Irish whip, sends Otis to the apron. And this time, Nick Miller takes Otis off the apron. Reverse DDT on the big man on the outside. Shane Thorne right on the offense, but gets caught and gets absolutely walloped by Otis Dozovic. Otis now looks like he's going to play to the crowd. I don't, I'm, that's not, it may not be the smart thing. You might want to get Shane Thorne back into the ring, try to capitalize, finish this match off, and move along in the tournament to become the NXT World Tag Team Champions. Shane Thorne looks like, hey, it looks like he heard me. <laughs> Got his opposition into the ring and delivers a kick right to the back of the head. And Otis, though, counter for counter in this matchup. Both of these teams going tooth and nail, counter for counter, blow for blow. As Shane Thorne delivers a neck breaker right there to Otis Dozovic in the center of the ring. Thorne now going to send Otis to his corner. Tag. In comes Nick Miller. I don't know if that's going to rain the yarn. Double shoulder blocking. Oh! Boy, do you know for damn sure that's painful? And Otis still right back to his feet. This man is resilient. Picks him up. Once again, remnants of the world's strongest slam. Takes down Nick Miller. Will it be enough for Heavy Machinery to advance into the tournament? And yes, it is. Heavy Machinery have advanced to the semi-finals of the World Tag Team Championship Tournament. As we see a couple of highlights here from the matchup, both of these men showing off they are not only strength, they are athleticism as well. And man, oh man. Boy, these, these guys are going to be a force to be reckoned with in this Tag Team Championship Tournament. Machinery advancing into the tournament. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Stakes and weights, baby. Stakes and weights. And look at the semifinals we have lined up. Man, oh man, what a tournament this has been. And what a tournament this is going to continue to be. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, moving along here to Redemption. It is live this Sunday. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel with those notification bells turned on Eric Young faces Kevin Owens for the NXT North American Championship the World Tag Team Championship Tournament continues man oh man you saw the brackets the Ascension will be facing none other than the War Raiders that is gonna be a hard hitting match you are not gonna wanna miss that let me know in the comments down below who you got who do you have the Ascension or the War Raiders. General Manager Triple H has a historic announcement and I quote, it is gonna change the face of NXT as we know it. Triple H kicks off NXT redemption. History making announcement. We've already made history. How are we gonna change it? Well. Tune in to find out. And the main event of redemption for the NXT Championship. The greatest man that ever lived, Austin Aries, takes on the Dutch Destroyer. The NXT Champion, Aleister Black. Mind games have been played for weeks on end. But this Sunday, the Mind Games 
stop. There will be no Paul Heyman. Man, oh man, what is going to happen? Can A-Double wrestle away that NXT Championship? Or will the era of the Dutch Destroyer continue here in NXT? It is live this Sunday. Redemption comes your way. Tune in and find out. Nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, it is main event time here on NXT as the top 1% once again is here for the black and yellow brand. And he looks to turn NXT into NX3. Making his way to the ring from Palm Springs, Florida, weighing in at 231 pounds, EC3. Ethan Carter III making his return here to NXT, and this is only the second time we've seen EC3 here in Season 2. The first time we saw him was on the first episode, the inaugural episode of NXT Season 2. If you have not seen that, be sure to check that out in the description box down below. I will leave a link. Ethan Carter III, he last faced Adam Cole, the Panama City Playboy, only to come up just a little bit short in the end. Can EC3 rebound and get a win here in NXT? But that's going to be no easy feat as he is facing none other than the NXT champion himself, the Dutch Destroyer, Alistair Black. We saw Austin Aries earlier pick up a win in his matchup. Can the NXT champion duplicate that success and pick up a win here at the expense of the top 1% of this industry? And Ethan Carter III, EC3, looks ready to go here in our main event this evening. As the NXT arena fades to black, there's a chill in the air signifying the arrival of one Alistair Black. The NXT champion, the undefeated NXT champion. This man debuted at our second pay-per-view back in season one and has not lost a match since. And his opponent from Amsterdam, Holland, weighing in at 215 pounds, the NXT champion, Alistair Black. Many men have stepped up and those same men have been put down courtesy of your NXT champion, your undefeated NXT champion, Alistair Black. And number one contender, Austin Aries, should he defeat Alistair Black, not only will he be the first man to pin Alistair Black here in NXT, but he will be the third ever NXT champion. And just to be in the top list, just even the top five, to say that you were among the first to hold that prestigious championship that Aleister Black has around his waist, it's, it elevates your career, man. It's on another level. And right now, the man to beat is that man right there, the Dutch Destroyer. Aleister Black looks ready to go here in the main event. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Ethan Carter III, Alistair Black, main event time as the referee signals for the bell. We are underway. Colin Elbow tie up in the center of the ring, and it is Alistair Black getting the better of the situation as he goes around the back. Curse of the commentator. EC3 takes down Alistair Black, and now he's got him in a rear naked choke. Alistair now fights back to his feet relatively quickly. Gonna look to work over the arm of EC3. EC3 now goes round the back, and now he's got the champion 
in a side headlock. Block now gonna look to shoot off EC3 into the ropes and delivers a double foot stomp right to the chest. That massive chest of Ethan Carter the third, and then delivers a double foot stomp right there to the midsection. He's got him hooked now and takes him over with a superplex. Or a suplex. Oh my. <laughs> Hey, one of a kind commentary here in NXT as Alistair Black snaps off the DDT on the one percenter. And EC3 needs a breather as he looks to roll to the apron. Carter looks like he needs a breather. Oh, could have suckered in Alistair Black right now. Carter looks like he's going to go to the top rope and got caught coming down with a punch right to the midsection. Alistair now knee right to the face. Oh, and look at these strikes. And oh, Ethan caught him for a second. And now look at this Alistair Black showing his kickboxing skills, putting him on display for the NXT faithful to see. And Black takes a seat. And now Big Boot takes over. Ethan Carter the third to the outside. And Black now is going to follow. And now, oh, look at this. The striking combination once again takes down EC3. Austin now picks up Carter, sends him back into the ring. And the champion follows suit. He's going to look to go to the high rent district. High risk, high reward. Will this pay off? He's got him in his sights, and it does. Beautiful maneuver there from the NXT champion. Two count and near fall for the champion. Black now back to his feet. Gonna pick up Carter. I was looking for another knee strike there, but Ethan caught it in a running cutter. Takes down the NXT champion. An elbow drop right to the heart. The black heart of Alistair Black. And now Carter picks him up to, to the midsection. He's got him hooked. And takes him down with the power of bomb. Carter now. Going to go to the second rope. Looking for a drop kick. And gets it right into the chest of Alistair Black. <coughs> I'm losing my voice already. Stumped to the midsection by EC3. EC3 now picks him back up. Oh, Alistair reverses. And now, oh, here comes the strikes once again in the knee strike right underneath the jaw. Look at this striking combination. Takes him down. Knee right to the face of EC3. He is not going to like that. EC3 does not like his face touched one bit. Alistair Black, he's got him lined up in his sights. No, knee strike misses. Nobody home. Carter has him now. Elbow to the back of the neck. He's got him up. Fireman's carry position. TK3 takes down the NXT champion into the pinfall is EC3 and a near fall for EC3. Carter now going to pick up Alistair Black shot right there to the back and now Carter takes him over to the corner. Irish Whip takes him back into the corner close line in the corner takes him over with a snap man. EC3 showing why he should be in top contention for that NXT championship currently held by Alistair Black. Takes him up, knee strike. Takes Alistair Black right back down. Chop follows up with a punch, follows up with an elbow. And now it's Carter on the offense delivering some unlikely moves that we would not expect to see from EC3 of standing in Seguri. Ethan has him now. But you can do him lean him up against the ropes. Carter now gonna send Alistair Black to the outside. The crowd comes alive. EC3 has got a look in his eye. He goes off the ropes. Suicide dive by the top 1%. Oh my goodness. EC3 now gonna revel in the adulation of the NXT faithful. You hear the crowd, they are chanting, this is awesome. 
That is not something you expect to see from EC3. He wants to show why he should be in top contention for that NXT championship. Carter now going to bounce the NXT champion all around the outside from pillar to post. He has him now. Going to look to take him back into the ring. Carter has him right where he wants him now. What's he going to do with him? He's up to the apron. And all oh, the champion caught him trying to come back in. And Alistair Black picks him. Oh my goodness. Backdrop on the apron. The hardest part of the ring in EC3 spine just bounced right off of it. Alistair has him now. What's he gonna do? Gonna chop him up against the ropes? No, oh my goodness. Cut her out of nowhere from Alistair Black. Black now to the outside. Back up to the high rink district. He took a chance once before and it pays off once again. Moonsault from the NXT champion. Black in the corner once again. He missed this earlier, but not this time. It pays off for the NXT champion. Stamina playing a factor in this matchup. Black quickly into the cover though. Near fall. Alistair, no wasted motion by the NXT champion. Right back on the offense. Was looking for a revolution knee strike. EC3 evaded it though and delivers one of the most devastating forms I've ever seen. But this time the revolution knee did not. It didn't miss. Look at these strikes from Alistair Black. He takes him up and down. Gonna look to work over the knee of EC3. Black once again gonna go to the top row. This time it does not pay off. The double foot stomp. Nobody home. Carter now. Just got him in a front face lock. And oh my goodness, the guillotine. Is Alistair Black gonna submit to the guillotine by EC3? Just a few days away from redemption. No, Alistair powers out of it. Black mass by Alistair Black. Good night, EC3. Could that be Austin Aries' fate come this Sunday at redemption? We are going to find out, oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Woo, what a main event here tonight on NXT. That was pay-per-view worthy. EC3 put up a hell of a fight, and I have no doubt in my mind that he is going to be the number one contender for the NXT Championship one day, very, very soon. That knee shot right there absolutely cleaned the clock of Ethan Carter III. He dig down deep though. He managed to fight out of it, but not for long. The black mass. Only one person has ever kicked out of that black mass. And it was the man that Aleister Black defeated for that NXT championship. Damn. Here is your winner, Aleister Black. Aleister Black is victorious here on NXT as the NXT arena fades to black once again ladies and gentlemen we certainly hope that you have enjoyed NXT we certainly hope we will see you this Sunday as Aleister Black defends that NXT championship against Austin Aries speaking of Austin Aries he's trying to sneak attack Aleister Black once again black mask no Austin caught the foot Austin tried for a sneak attack again, but Aleister Black was prepared. All it takes is one black mass. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to find out this Sunday. Is it going to be Aleister Black or Austin Aries?